How does it affect development? Um, essentially, research states that our brains develop up until the age of 28 to 29. The most crucial time of our brain development is from prenatal all the way up until about age 8 or 9. Um, so if trauma is being experienced at a pretty young age, we are um, having our brains be affected by that trauma and our survival response. You know, and it's vicarious. Trauma gets all over everyone. So um, trauma spreads between people. We know that through neuroscience now, through things like the mirror neuron system and, and emotional contagion. Um, and so I think that it's, um, it's diverse and it's pervasive and, and it's impacting all of our, uh, all of our school settings, right? Um, which is why we need better approaches for, for trauma-informed practice. I mean, you know, we've all had an experience where somebody has rushed into a room really angry and we kind of almost feel that and we, it, it alters our mood through over the course of the day, right? Um, that used to be anecdotal for a long time. Uh, and now, as I was discussing, we know that um, our, mi our minds are wired to connect and we do have this mirror neuron system. And this is something that um, teachers experience, um, social workers experience, people that, are, that spend their lives working in and around trauma, they feel that impact at the end of the day, right? And people who are learning as students in a classroom with peers that have high degrees of trauma, they feel it as well.